Hi, this is David Glover. I'm going to talk to you about shifting. So I'm going to demonstrate on my tri bike, which has uh, my shifters up front on the end of my aero bars. But these same principles apply to road bikes or bikes that have shifters by the brakes as well. So the biggest thing to remember is that your left side, so my left shifter, controls the front of my bike. So in the front chain ring, typically going to have two gears called the big chain ring, which I'm riding in, and the smaller chain ring, which I'm shifting into. Sometimes you, you may have a third gear, which is a smaller gear on the inside, called a granny gear. The thing to remember is that the closer the chain is to the bike, the easier the gearing is. So uh, the front chain ring in the front, you only have two or maybe three options. So you're not going to be shifting this as much. You're either going to typically be in your big chain ring on the flats or going down hills, or your small chain ring in the front, the smaller gear, if you're not as strong a rider or if you're going uphill. The right side is going to control the back, and that's going to be my cassette. So in the back, in my rear cassette, I'm going to have anywhere from 7 to 10 or maybe even 11 different gears that I can choose from. In this case, the closer the chain is to bike, the easier the gearing is. So if I'm on my biggest cog on the inside, I'm typically using it to climb up a hill. As I shift down into the smaller cogs and get away from the bike, again using my right shifter, I'm able to generate more power and go faster. So I'm going to use my smallest cog if I'm going if I'm going fast on a flat or slightly downhill. Your rear cassette, since that has anywhere from 7 to 10 or 11 different options, that's going to be the one that you fine tune the most. So as I'm riding, I'm constantly adjusting the right side to find the, the optimal gear that gets me into a comfortable cadence and a comfortable output. So if I'm going on a flat or slightly downhill, I'm going to be in my big chain ring on the front, which is away from the bike, and then one of the smaller gears in the back, which is, which is closer to the bike. The key with, with gear shifting is to anticipate. So if you find yourself starting to go up a hill, shift as you start to go into that hill. So don't wait until you're already slow down and then trying to change under tension. So you want to change while there's not a lot of tension on the chain. Same thing, as you reach the top of the hill, go ahead and drop it into a, a little bit harder gear so that as you crest the hill, you can increase your speed quickly rather than spinning out. Most important thing you can do is practice, and you're going to make mistakes. Keep in mind that if you change gears dramatically, you may drop your chain. That's okay. Typically, you can just shift it back on. If not, just pull over to the side of the road and then manually put it back on. One thing you don't want to do is called cross-chaining. By that, I mean having the chain on one side in the front and the other side in the back. So if I have it on the big chain ring in the front, which is away from the bike, and then all the way on the easiest cog in the back, which is close to the bike, that's cross-chaining. So it's basically putting the chain at an angle, which creates more stress on the chain and the potential for breaking the chain. Good luck. Practice and you'll do great.